Hello to my clients and viewers. This is Clayton with Photo Tableau, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of your proofing website, what the layout and the icons mean, and just overall how to use it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started with the basics of the proofing process on the proofing website. Um, shortly after the portrait session or the wedding, you'll receive an email just like this one, letting you know that they're ready. Uh, this just includes a banner image, an icon for view collection, that's how you access your gallery, as well as a little blurb from me, your download pin, which is useful for downloading the high resolution images, your print ready images, uh, and then an expiration on the collection, uh, when the collection will no longer be available on the proofing website. So if you click view collection, click, it takes you to your gallery. Uh, you might have to enter in your email for registration if you haven't already. Uh, you go ahead and click here to open, as it says, here on the left side, you'll see highlights, and then for a wedding, you'll see you know anticipation, ceremony, portraits, and reception. Uh, or for a portrait session, um, it'll just say highlights and uh, all images or something of the like. So you can see as I mouse over these, um, I've got these icons that show up here. There's a heart, a shopping cart, a little download symbol, and a share icon. Uh, very similar to what I have up here in the top right. Again, a shopping cart, a little heart, a download icon, and a button for sharing, as well as a Facebook like button. Uh, so that's just briefly, uh, you know, the the layout. But what do those icons mean? Uh, well, first of all, um, I want to differentiate between the icons here, what those mean, versus the icons here. So. If they're on an individual photo, uh, those icons only apply to that photo. Um, so if you click the heart, uh, that is just going to favorite that photo. If you click the shopping cart, that's just going to give you options for ordering that photo. Um, and same with the download icon, it's just going to give you options, it's just going to let you download that photo. Now a special note for downloading, if you click download on an individual photo like this, you click, you'll see It'll just download that one individual picture, and that'll actually be at what's called web size. Uh, what that means is it has a watermark, and it can't be printed. Uh, the resolution, the, the clarity wouldn't be there. So those are perfect for you know posting to Instagram or uploading to Facebook, uh, but not so much for you know getting prints or thank you cards made. So keep that in mind. Um, also, uh, while we're talking about that, this icon here at the top right again for downloading all of them uh, these icons up here represent you know sort of all of the photos clicking that gives you the option to download uh, the full resolution photos uh, as well as the print ready photos if you prefer but that just does all of the photos um, if you are uh, if you booked a package that features digital delivery as opposed to a USB um, you know you won't get a CD or anything like that uh, it's all done through your proofing website so by clicking here I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. This is how you get all your photos. Uh, so again, it'll ask you, you know, for your email address, it'll ask you for a PIN, uh, which again, you can find in the email. 295, you just enter that in. Bam. Um, if you already have a download um, on file, it'll ask you if you want to download the existing one you've already done, or you can start a new one. Uh, if you haven't ever started one, this is the screen you'll see. You can choose which collections or which sections you want to download. Uh, most people would just want to do all of them. Uh, and then you can also click web size or high resolution and simply hit start download. Bam. And if it's for a portrait session, um, you won't have to wait very long. But if it's for a wedding, uh, in order for the website to prep all the downloads, uh, it'll actually probably take maybe close to 15 minutes depending. Um, so you might want to you know, just wait for the email as opposed to sitting here watching at the spinny wheel. Uh, but whenever those are done, you'll receive an email just like this one. And then you can just follow that there and that'll just let you know whenever it's ready. And please note it does expire within seven days and then you'll have to go in and re-download, which is fine.